Opening statements wrapped up today in the murder trial against Joseph Elledge, who's accused of killing his wife, Meng Shi Ji, in 2019. Thanks for choosing us at 6. I'm Deborah Kendrick. My co-anchor, Lucas Geisler, is on assignment. Prosecutors played hours of recordings of arguments between the couple today. My co-anchor, Lucas Geisler, is leading off our live team coverage tonight live at the Boone County Courthouse. Lucas, the jury is listening to one of those recordings actually right now. Deborah, Prosecutor Dan Knight in the last few minutes has put on a few different recordings from Joseph Elledge back in May of 2019, a discussion that he and his wife, Meng Shiji, were having about their relationship with him asking her questions if she was even interested in him anymore. These recordings were a crucial part of today's evidence by Prosecutor Dan Knight. Knight hopes that these can prove the intent behind what Joseph Elledge did with his claim that he intentionally killed her, trying to prove first degree murder against Joseph Elledge. That's part of those recordings. We spent a couple hours this afternoon listening to what effectively was a couple's therapy session between G and Elledge, led by Joseph Elledge's mother, Jean Elledge. Now, as part of that, Joseph Elledge says something that Dan Knight relied on in his opening statements. Joseph Elledge saying that he sometimes felt like he wanted to smack G, but also saying that he didn't like feeling that way. Again, going over these marital problems, these family problems that they were having shortly after having their child together. Today was also our first look at what the defense's theory is on this case. We haven't heard much from them since the evidence was put on, but ABC 17's Layla Mitchell did hear a lot from the defense team during opening statements. And Layla, that included what their take on this whole case was. Yeah, Lucas, so everyone in the courtroom learned something new from the defense today, something that had not been mentioned at all during the two year long case. The defense re revealed that Joseph Elledge killed Meng Shiji in their apartment during a tragic accident. Defense attorney Scott Rosenblum started his opening statements saying Elledge became suspicious that Meng Shiji was cheating on him when she was not showing him enough attention. Rosenblum said Elledge would try to initiate romance with Ji and she refused multiple times leading him to believe again that she was seeing someone else. Rosenblum said during during a heated argument, Elledge pushed G, and G fell and hit her head. After that, G was conscious and was able to get up and go to bed. And when Elledge awoke in the middle of the night, he turned over and saw G was unresponsive and then realized she was dead. He didn't overreact in a violent way. He pushed to get to his daughter. She lost her balance and fell and hit her head. And it was a thud. And on the prosecution side, Dan Knight is arguing Elledge meant to kill her, saying Elledge made several references to killing her in secret audio recordings that Lucas mentioned earlier that will be played during the trial. Elledge recorded himself threatening the next time G dug a hole, he would jump in and bury her. Knight also mentioned police found a script that G found a script in G and Elledge's apartment where Elledge wrote out a list of pointers for himself on how to act with the media, quote, saying, saying, quote, act sad, not happy, and refer to G in present tense and not past tense. So I've, the big revelation, Layla, is that the defense and state agree that Elledge did something to kill G. But of course, what it's going to come down to is, as you've said, the intent behind that. Yeah. Was it an accident or did he mean to do it? So we will continue to follow that coverage or follow this trial as it goes along. The judge wanted to wrap up really any minute now. We'll have updates for you on how today goes and what we, what we might expect tomorrow on ABC 17 News at 10. Reporting live here in Columbia alongside Layla Mitchell, I'm Lucas Geisler, ABC 17 News. Okay, Lucas, Layla, thank you so much.